Hey hackers, welcome back to Skills Build Training. Today we have got an exciting topic for you as we delve into the world of Kali Linux. I am Talha and in this video we will be exploring the crucial concepts of updates and upgrades in Kali Linux. So let's dive in. Alright, first things first, let's talk about updates. In Kali Linux, keeping your system up to date is essential for security and performance. To update your system, simply open up your terminal and type in sudo apt update. This command fetches the latest information about available packages from the repositories. It doesn't actually install any updates, it just grabs the latest package list. Now let's move on to the upgrades. Unlike updates, upgrades involve installing the latest version of packages on your system. To perform an upgrade, use the following command, sudo apt upgrade. This command installs the latest version of all the packages on your system. It's essential to do this regularly to ensure you have the latest features, bug fixes and security patches. Kali Linux comes with a vast repository of tools, but sometimes you might need something extra for specific tasks. Let's say you want to install a tool like nmap for network scanning. Simply use the following command, sudo apt install nmap. This command fetches and installs the nmap tool from the Kali Linux repositories. By default, Kali Linux operates with the root user, but for security reasons, it's a good practice to create a non-root user for everyday tasks. To create a new user, use the following command, sudo add user your username. Replace your username with the desired username for your non-root user account. Follow the prompts to set a password and additional user information. Now we need to give our new user administrative privileges. In Kali Linux, this is done by adding the user to the sudo group. Simply type in sudo usermode-ag sudo your username. This command adds the user to the sudo group, allowing them to execute administrative commands with elevated privileges. By default, only the root user has the super user privileges in Kali Linux. However, we can grant similar privileges to the other users by adding them to the sudo users list. Here's how you do it. Open the terminal and type this command, sudo vi sudo. This opens the file in the default text editor, ensuring that this is safely edited. Now scroll down to the section that starts with this command. To add a user, simply insert a new line below it, like so. Replace your username with the username you want to add to the sudo users list. By default, Kali Linux comes with the predefined passwords for certain accounts and changing them is a crucial step in securing your system. First, let's change the password of the root account. Open up your terminal and type sudo passwd. This command allows you to set up a new password for the root user. Configuring network settings in Kali Linux is a fundamental skill. Let's kick things off with a basic but crucial command. To view your current network's configurations, use the following command, IP space A. This will display details about your network interfaces, IP addresses and more. Now let's say you want to assign a static IP address to your machine. Open the configuration file with sudo nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. Here, you can manually set your network configurations including IP addresses, gateways and DNS servers. SSH or Secure Shell is a powerful tool that allows you to access your Kali Linux machine remotely. Let's enable it. First, ensure that SSH is installed on your system by typing sudo apt install open ssh hyphen server. This command installs the open ssh server, the software that allows your system to accept incoming ssh connections. Now, let's start the ssh service. Simply type sudo server ssh start. This command initiates the ssh service making your machine ready to accept incoming ssh connections. Configuring a firewall in Kali Linux adds an extra layer of protection to your system. Let's start with the basics. To see if you have a firewall enabled, type sudo ufw status. This command shows the current status of the uncomplicated firewall, Kali's default firewall tool. If UFW isn't installed, you can do so by typing sudo apt install UFW. Now, let's enable the firewall, use sudo UFW enable. This turns on the firewall and it will now start automatically on boot. 
Virtual Box Guest Editions are essential for optimizing your VM's performance and adding handy features. Let's walk through the installation process. First, check if you already have Guest Editions installed by typing this command. This command checks for the presence of the Virtual Box Guest Editions kernel module. If it's not installed, don't worry. Let's go ahead and install it. Start by updating your packages list with sudo apt update. This ensures that you have the latest information about available packages. Now, install the necessary packages for the guest edition with this command. These packages provide the kernel modules for optimal integration. Once the installation is complete, reboot your Kali VM to activate the changes. Just type sudo reboot. Now, let's make sure guest editions are running. After reboot, check again with this command. If everything is in order, you are good to go. Configuring the time zone in Kali Linux is a quick and essential task. Let's walk through the steps. To see your current time zone, type this command. This command provides information about the system clock, including the time zone. Now, to change the time zone, use this command. Time, date, ctl, along with that set time zone. For example, to set your time zone to New York, type this command. sudo time, date, ctl, set, hyphen, time zone, space america slash new underscore yaw installing graphic drivers in kali linux might be necessary for optimal performance and visual experience first let's check your current graphics drivers status open your terminal and type this command this command provides information about your graphics hardware and the currently loaded drivers securing grub is essential for protecting your system from unauthorized access during the boot process let's walk through the steps to begin, let's check your current grub configurations. Open up the terminal and type this command. This command displays the current grub configuration settings. Now, let's restrict access to grub's command line. Open the grub configuration file with your favorite text editor and type this command. sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub. Here, we will add a line to disable access to the grub command line. Please type this command. Make sure to place this line among the other grub configuration settings. Kali Linux comes with a plethora of services, some of which you might not need. Let's identify and remove the unnecessary ones. First, let's check which services are currently running. Open up your terminal and type this command. sudo service hyphen hyphen status hyphen all. This command gives you a list of active services on your system. Now, identify the services you don't need. For instance, if you are not using a Bluetooth adapter, you can disable the Bluetooth services. Please type this command. sudo service Bluetooth stop sudo systemctl disable Bluetooth. This command will stop the Bluetooth services and prevent it from starting at boot. Encrypting your hard drive adds an extra layer of protection, ensuring your sensitive information remains confidential. To do that, first identify the partition you want to encrypt. Open up the terminal and type this command. lsblk this command displays a list of available block devices and their partitions. Next, install the necessary tools for encryption. Use the crypt setup package by typing this command. sudo apt install crypt setup. This command will install the tools required for disk encryption. Also, type this command sudo crypt setup hyphen y space luks format slash dev slash sdx. Don't forget to replace the dev slash sdx with the actual partition you want to encrypt. This command setups the encrypted container. Ensuring your system is up to date is crucial for security. Let's explore how to configure automatic updates in Kali Linux. First, let's make sure our package list is current. Open up your terminal and type this command, sudo apt update. This command fetches the latest information about available packages. Now, to configure automatic updates, we will use the unattended upgrade package. If you don't have it installed, you can do so by typing this command, sudo apt install unattended upgrades. This package automates the process of updating installed packages. Moving on, please type this command in your terminal. This file allows you to set various parameters for automatic updates. In this file, you can adjust parameters like the update frequency. Moving on, please type this command. This line ensures your package lists are updated daily. By default, Kali Linux comes with App Armor pre installed, but SE Linux is also a robust choice. Let's explore how to enable one of these security modules. First, 
Let's see if App Armor is already running on your system. Open up the terminal and type this command. This command shows the status of App Armor on your machine. Now, to enable App Armor, simply install the App Armor package. Type in the command sudo apt install app armor. This ensures the app armor package is installed on your system. Next, type this command sudo service app armor start. This command initiates the app armor services. Alternatively, if you prefer SE Linux, you can install it by typing this command. This command installs SE Linux and the default policy for Kali Linux. After installation, enable SE Linux with this command sudo selinux hyphen activate this command activates the selinux on your system tor or the onion router is a powerful tool for online privacy let's install it first ensure your package list is up to date after that let's install tor please type this command sudo apt install tor this installs the tor package on your kali linux system next start the tor services by typing this command sudo service tor start this command initiates Tor service, allowing you to connect to the Tor network. To verify that Tor is running, check the status by typing this command. sudo service Tor status. This command provides information about the status of the Tor services. The bash shell is the heart of your command line experience. Let's explore how to make it look and feel just the way you want it. First, let's see what our bash shell looks like. Open up your terminal and type this command. This opens the bash configuration file in the nano text editor. Now, let's add some color to our terminal. You can customize the appearance of your prompt by adding color codes to the PS1 variable. For example, you can set your prompt to display in green by adding this line. This line sets the prompt to display in green. By default, Kali Linux allows root login via SSH, but we are going to change that for added security. First, Let's see the current status. Open up your terminal and type this command. This opens the SSH configuration file in the nano text editor. Now look for the line that says permit root login and change its value to no. This command denies root login via SSH. Familiarize yourself with Kali Linux documentation and tutorials to make most of its features and tools. Always exercise caution and discretion when configuring security related settings. Make sure you understand the implications of each change you make to avoid unintended consequences. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more command line content and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop. Until next time, customize your terminal and stay efficient and happy hacking.